And if y'all need good and reliable thumbnails for a cheap price, hit up my boy Pookie on Twitter. He's on the come up and he is a demon at what he does, but his link is gonna be the first one in the description. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Yeah. What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy GB3, about another video. And so this video, it's been highly requested. Y'all keep asking me, Twitter, Instagram, in the comments, how do you make your overlay? So I'm gonna teach y'all exactly how to do it. It's very easy. All you need is Saber, and I'll drop the link how to get that. And all you need is, and, or also all you need is After Effects. And so I'll drop both the links in the description. You can just go get them if you need them. And it's, it's very easy. So I'm gonna actually make two parts to this video. This is gonna be like the basic one. And then later on, I'm gonna make like the, um, the second part to the video, which is like gonna be uh, how to like make the words like transition into different colors and like fade in and fade out for like the more advanced users, I guess. So without further ado, um, if you like the video or if it helps you out, please let me know in the comments. Um, drop a like, please subscribe. <laughs> trying to hit 1K subs, but without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Yay. Okay, so the first thing how I was talking about how you need Saber, this is a website that you have to go to. I'm gonna drop the link in the description, but once you go here, it's called Video Copilot. Um, this is how you get the saber effect or the plugin. So you're just gonna scroll down and until you get to here where it says download, you can like download the actual um, plugin. So if you got Windows, click that. If you got Apple, then click that. But that's the first step you need to do if you wanna make the same exact overlay that I have. All right, so now that we're in After Effects, don't get scared by the way it looks. It's very easy. If you just follow the instructions, you should be fine. But if you don't already have After Effects, I'm also gonna drop a way to get it in the description. So, um, also make sure you have the saber which we just went over but let's get straight into it so this is a screen that it first brings you to as soon as you open up after effects so the first thing you want to click is new composition so what this does is like a base for like um the video that you're editing or like the thing that you're editing so you just want to copy these settings you can pause the video if you need to and once you do that click okay so now it's just gonna be a black screen like i said it's just like the base of the video the next thing that you want to do is you want to go up to the top and you want to click layer and then from here you click new than solid so what this is this is like well, you're gonna put the after not that effect. you're gonna put this saber effect onto this layer and it's gonna make it glow in a way so you, you'll see so I'm gonna copy these settings with 1920 high 1080 and copy all this and then click okay and here you got a black screen you can't really see it because it's black on black but went to the next step I right, also now we want to add the text so to do that all you want to do is go to the top click layer new oh layer new layer new oh my gosh layer new in text there we go <laughs> okay so now it has a little cursor where you can start typing things so you see i can type in whatever so for this case we're just going to type in tutorial okay so now that you typed in whatever you want to type in over here towards the right you can see all these different like panels so like paint um brushes you want to look for the ones that say paragraph and align that's that's the ones you want to look for and character so what these do is you can like start centering the text and changing the different fonts. So with the align layer, I guess, if you click this button right here and this button right here, oh, I have caps locks on. These two buttons is gonna center it directly. It's gonna center the text directly in the middle of the screen. If you click the character tab, you can then change what font or how big of the text you want it to be. So let's say I wanted it like this Fortnite type of font. You can have it like that. Or if I wanted it, something more like 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 mixtapey type like this most people use this for mixtapes you get you have it like that so once again i could center it just like so and so for this case we'll just use the same one that i had in my overlay okay so for the font that i use in my overlay i use bookman old style if you can't find it then just look it up on google and go to defont.com and you can find it that way but that's the font that i use and so after you get your font that you want and you centered it and you mess with the size by doing that I center it again next we're gonna add the, the saber and it's very easy i right, also right now the font is or the text is purple but it's not gonna matter because we're gonna put the saber effect on it and it's gonna change colors to whatever you want but after you did all that and you got your text situation should <laughs> after you did all that and you got your text situated all you want to do is go you want to click the black solid that you made in the first place or the first black solid that you made and then you want to click effect and then over here is gonna like have a list of all these different effects. So with me, I have ooh, I have a whole bunch of like different uh, plugins and stuff. But all you want to do is head over to here where it says Video Copilot and Saber. And so right now is it put up that like blue um, line in the background. And so that's when you know you're doing Saber right. So that little blue line, we're gonna make it so that way that blue line is like on the text. So what you want to do next from there is 
uh, it's gonna open up this screen and it says saber so these are like all the settings you can like mess with so like the the glow color um how much you want the glow to spread around the text but first thing you want to click is you want to go down to customize core so when you drop that down it's going to say saber core type what you want to click is um text layer so once you do that you know click the text layer you want to click like the the text that you made so in this case tutorial so right now it's actually the saber is it's on the text but you can't really see it so if you just hide this if you click this little i button it, it goes away so the text like you can see it so if if you change the preset which is up here preset so like there's all these different presets you can, you can keep going down there's a whole bunch of different presets so i think the preset that i used was was it was it energize um i, I think it, i think it was, i think it was energized and so you see it, it's already like you, it it made the overlay so i'm actually gonna make two parts to this video so i'm gonna make like the easier version and then like the harder version how like it changes colors and stuff and how it can like fade in and fade out but this is just the easier version so there we go let it play out for a little bit and so this is what it looks like like it already looks pretty cool so um if you don't like the color of that you can actually change the color to something else so see like we want it purple or something or like a let's say a light blue there we go that's like a cyan color so we're gonna let it play out a little bit so it can like render through and then when i play it back it's gonna look really smooth all right so i'm playing it back and there we go it, it looks pretty smooth and so depending on what text you have um it's really gonna like decide on how good it looks or depending on what um, preset you use so we could use something like fuel fuel looks nice let's uh, render that out real quick it looks like like fiery i guess so let's just play it back a little bit it looks pretty nice it looks pretty nice or we could use something like i know a lot of people they love using arc reactor a lot of people love using this one um let's play it back a little bit okay so you see it's like that electric feel you can just play around with um whichever preset that you want there's so many you can choose from um that's really it you you made like the actual overlay so after that after you're done messing around with whatever you want to um whichever overlay like you you feel looks best to you next thing you want to do you have to do this you have to do this so underneath all these settings is render settings so you want to click that drop down that tab you know, scroll down until you see composite settings and so right here it says black so what that means is whenever you render out the video or when, like when you render out the overlay it's gonna have that black screen and you don't want that you want to have it transparent so what you do is when you want to click that you click transparent and so what that does is now if I um, hide the background it's like completely transparent like there's not that black screen in there so you have to make sure you do that every single time you make an overlay or else you're like every time you put up the overlay on your screen it's just gonna have a black screen so you just want to do that and from there you're done so now i'm gonna teach y'all how to um save the stuff and how to like how to save your overlay and how to actually render it out one more thing i almost forgot to mention is that if you don't want your clip lasting 30 seconds you have to split the clip or trim the clip down so to do that is very easy so you see this little um this little blue line right here so this like depends on how long or this is going to depend on how long the clip is going to be so let's say we want it to end i don't know right here so i'm just drag it to right there and also i have to split these clips so all you want to do is press Control, shift and d and it's gonna oh hold up and make sure your, your cursor is where it wants to be so press Control, shift d and it's going to split the end of the clip so i just click delete and you have to do that for both the layers so Control, shift d and delete so what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that only the video only lasts in, up until here and then after this point it cuts out so that's how you make sure you like trim the clip down make sure you're not like, spending five minutes ten minutes rendering out this extremely long video or overlay to render out the overlay it's very easy all you want to do is go up here to file you want to go to where is it export and add to render queue and so what the render queue is it or what rendering a video does is it puts together all the little bits of information um, in the video and like makes it like as smooth as possible and stuff so what the render queue is it it's like a i guess it's the settings for the rendering process so right here it says rendering settings if you want to copy these you can so you can copy all these pause the video if you need to click okay and then for the output module this this is very important as well so you want to click this it's like it's grayed out but you want to click it loss lossless Double click that and for the format you want to change this to a quick time you have to change it to a quick time 
So once you change that to a quick time, you also want to go to here where it says RGB, click RGB plus alpha, and that's it. That's all you have to change on the screen. You don't have to change anything else. It's going to be perfectly fine after that and click OK. So next, what you want to do is the output two. So what this is, it's going to like um, depend on it's not going to it's going to um, place your file wherever you want it to be. So let's just say I want it to be in my videos folder. Well, I'm going to save the name as, I guess, tutorial. I cannot type tutorial. And it's just going to save in that folder. So now whenever I'm done rendering this out, it's just going to go straight to that folder and I'm going to easily be able to find it. For the next step, all you want to do is just render it out. So I'm going to click this render. And so what it's going to do is it's going to just render out this entire video or this entire like overlay. And so what it's doing is it's, it's just like putting together all the pieces, making it as smooth as possible. Um, and when it's done, it's actually going to make this like this ringing noise. You're going to know when you hear it. But once this is done, I'll get back to you all. I also now that it's done rendering, it just made the little like ringing noise. You're going to hear it. Um, you're pretty much done. So you're done with everything after effects. You don't have to come back here anymore. And so I'm just close out of it or I'm gonna minimize it. And I'm gonna go to my files. So right here, here's the little overlay. So when you click it, it's not gonna be able to play. It's not gonna actually show you anything because like the type of file that it is is gonna pop up this message. Yeah, so you can't play. So what you wanna do now is you wanna actually, I'm gonna like show y'all how to add it to Streamlabs. So let's go over to Streamlabs. So there's here, we're in Streamlabs now. So all you want to do is if you want to add this like to be at the top of your screen, all you want to do is go to sources, click this little plus button. And now you just want to look for media source. And so what media source is, it allows you to put like any video or um, GIF, I guess, on the screen. So I'm going to click add source. And so I already have one. So I'm just click add new source instead. And we're just going to name it overlay. So that way it keeps it like, oh, so that way you keep your stuff neat. So overlay. So add source. So now you want to click browse and then you want to look for that file that you just saved. So that's the overlay that I have. We don't want to use that. So we're going to look for the tutorial. Here it is tutorial. So there it is. It's right there. So now since you don't have like the um, I'm going to make a part two on like how to like make it fade out and stuff. Since we don't have it fading out and stuff, you just want to click loop. So that way it, does, it doesn't just disappear. So after you're done with that. You, oh, I actually, <laughs> I'm forgetting. So I, or actually, you can actually change the speed of like how fast you want it to play or how slow you want it to play if you want it to be really slow. So we're just gonna leave it at 50, I guess. I think that was the default. Wait, no, no, I guess it was 100. 100, that makes sense. 100. So once you're done with that, click done. There it is. There's the overlay. So now you can just resize it to however you want. So um, just make it smaller. And normally I like to tend, I like, I put mine at the top. And so if you want it to be centered, all you do is um, right click one overlay right here. Oh, it might be kind of confusing looking, but you want to click, you want to right click overlay and you want to click transform. And then where is it? Center horizontally. And so what it does is just center it in the direct, like directly in the middle. So let me actually put this up. Let me do that. So that makes it, it that makes it much easier <laughs> to understand. So yeah, that, that until you just made the tutorial like it, or the, the overlay, it's really easy. Um, all you need is Saber and After Effects. Um, drop those two links in the description. And I'm also gonna make a like a part two on like how to make it like change colors and fade in and fade out and all that good stuff. I right, also, if this tutorial did help you out, please make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I'm really trying to hit 1K subs and I'm only gonna hit it with the help of y'all. So um, please let me know in the description if you need any help or um, what problems you're having. I think I did a pretty good job explaining it. So it's been your boy GB3 and we out y'all. Peace.